how you drew it up? Yeah. No, it was good. I mean, uh, those, those are those are hard games. I mean, the Detroit Red Wings and the way they've been playing has been. Uh, I think they're they've been the top team in the league in the last you know, month at least, and they've, they're hard to play against. They're they got to get you zone time and that. But uh, we did. I think we did what we wanted. We, we made some strides from our last game. You, you see how hard they play. We play hard, and uh, you know we found a way to win. And uh, we got a big power play goal. You know, it, in the big moments, you need your, your your top players to step up, and Shea stepped up in a huge way today. Uh, and the last two goals, absolute rocket on the power play, and they've got a big power play goal, which is talk about the power play. It doesn't have to have great numbers, but when you need that goal, you got to come up with it. And we came up with it. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, I thought it was a pretty good game. Uh, first period, I thought we played them, played them solid, which is really important. To, uh, I thought for us because uh, the way they they handled us in, uh, in in Detroit, and I thought we were you know we had some weight on the puck in the defensive zone, and you know if you don't have weight on the puck in the defensive zone against the Detroit Red Wings, they spend a lot of time in your end. They may not necessarily get a lot of chances, uh, but they'll get a lot of zone time, and then you just don't get any forecheck, you don't get any offensive thrust. So they had a little more of that in the second, more a lot more than I wanted to, but. Uh, you know, with a young team, I think that was a big win. Uh, it's the third time we've come back from two goal deficits in two weeks, so we're showing a lot of character, you know, and persistence on what we're trying to do. Um, and I thought we, we, we got effort, great efforts from everybody. Typical Shea goals, basically, just him at the point, and I guess the first one was, maybe the second one not quite as much. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the first one was absolutely, you know, if you want to say, here's a Shea Weber a signature shot. I mean, he, when our power play moved around, we got him uh, open for a shot. And I mean, it actually, I was surprised to look at the, at the replay and the, you know, from the bench. I know that was an absolute rocket. Uh, I think Jimmy Howard actually caught it and it just turned his glove sideways. It was so hard and so heavy that it just, the puck just carried on into the net. and. Uh, um, that's just what Shea does. I mean, he's, he's, that shot can certainly get some uh, some, le some legendary uh, moments in it, you know, going through the net, and that one that almost tore his hand off. Yeah, had an opportunity on the power play until then. Uh, the whole game, you kind of feel like you had to catch one in there? Yeah, well, we, I don't know if we, we felt like we had one. Well, at that point, we needed one, yes, with only four minutes to go. But I, I thought, you know, uh, you know, the referees just let both teams play for the most part. I mean, there's thought there were some great battles. There was a lot of contact. Um, you know, we, we bent and didn't break a few times. Uh, you know, those are, those are things that don't really, I think uh, Detroit has outscored the opposition. And I, I don't know how you have to look at these numbers. It's like 60 to 30, five on five. And today we, were, we beat them 3-1 in five on five play. So um, that's a good sign for us. That's something that we continue to need to improve on. Uh, it's been a strength uh, the, the past few years, and I, I think it can be a strength again. And um, you know, this is, we've, we've our, our power plays are is, is going pretty well. Our penalty kill is maintaining pretty you know high standard. Uh, other than tonight, we they, they got to us a little bit, but you know, for the most part, we're, we're making good strides in our game, and our group is uh, believing we're starting to get some home ice. Uh, Belief and, and you know, again, what happened? The, the miracle moment. Everybody stands up, and right after that, we scored. It's amazing. Uh, that's all I can say. Spalling uh, set the screen on Shea's second goal, and you had him out there for the last two faceoffs. Kind of a big last couple minutes for him. I, I thought uh, Nick Spalling was fantastic today. I thought he was really sharp. Um, he had a lot of battle in him, which he always does. But he made a real big play on the on the two two goal behind the net. Um, he made a huge play there. I just thought he was strong. You know, I thought that the whole line was strong. Wilson two two and Spalding were really strong for us and gave us a real good push and uh, got some timely goals for us. I mean, uh, I thought Toots was cool. Gave us a chance. Yeah, I think we come back. You know, three one after after two periods. Uh, that might have been a little taller order, but you know, you're one puck away, and if you can survive, and and uh, you know, they're going to have another push. And, and, survive that push and, and get your own push going and get a goal and, and put yourself in position to, to get it tied up and, and who knows what happens. And we did that and we went on to game.
Peck has shown a nice ability to bounce back after the Lidstrom goal. Yeah, I thought Pex was, you know, Pex was really sharp tonight. Uh, uh, I thought he just showed a lot of, uh, a lot of battle in him. Uh, he, he fought, uh, fought, you know, they, they make it hard for you to see the puck. I mean, they're bumping him. They know that he's a, an elite goaltender in this league. And, and trust me, they made it extremely hard on him. And I thought he just bowed through it like he always does. And he, was, he, was, he looked sharp. Detroit controlled the puck a little bit better the first two periods, and then y'all seemed to break through that in the third. What was different? What was this? Detroit was in, more in control the first two periods, and y'all broke through in the third. Yeah, what no, was I different? I didn't think they had much control in the first period. I mean, I, I never felt like we were ever in any, any trouble. I mean, the first maybe six or seven minutes they had a, a few shots, but really they were they were just there wasn't much there. Um, I thought we did a good job. I think it was a young team going against a very hot team and and just sort of filling themselves out in the second 10 minutes, I thought we were, were much better. Second period, we just weren't, weren't executing, coming out of our own zone and, and you know, make the first pass and the second pass that you have, you have to have or, the, the, you know, the second possession has to, you have to make a good decision. We weren't really sharp there and therefore we ended up in our end way too much and we didn't generate any offense uh, because of that and, you know, they threw some, some pucks, but their actual high scoring chances in terms of what we would consider scoring chances were after two periods or 15-10, even though I had a lot of zone time. And that's going to happen sometimes, you know, you, you just got to weather their storm and, and, and bend and not break. It's, it's no different than, than football. And sometimes teams will be a high-powered high offense will come down the field, come down the field, and they'll get down to the, you know, down to the, you know, the red zone and they're not scoring. And, and that's sort of how you have to play. You just got to bend and don't break, bend, bend and don't break. And then, sort of stabilize the game, hopefully. And I, I thought we did that. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I thought our, our battle skills were really good. And I think it was a, a good learning experience for, for our team. And, you know, I, as I say, I think they're, they've been a, a top team. They're playing like a, a, as good as anybody in the league right now. Uh, you know, there's a couple teams in the East that we haven't seen. But I'll tell you, out West, they're, they're playing as well as anybody. They've been tearing, tearing teams apart pretty good. So I think for, for us, that was a, a real good learning experience as well as a, a real big win. Tutu's been finding the, the score sheet a lot more often yeah. in the last few weeks. What, how has his hard work kind of paid off in that sense? Well, you know, uh, Jordan Tutu, when he, when he, when he, he, he's made a lot of changes, and they've been real positive changes, and what you're seeing in, in his, everything from his, his, his changes that he's, he's made is that you're seeing the, the hockey player come out, and he's powerful. Uh, he, can, he can get around the, the ice pretty well. He's got a good shot. He, you know, he's got a lot of good elements. I mean, He's a you know he's a pinball out there and he's no one wants to play against him. I wouldn't want to play against him. Uh, but now you're seeing those those things that were holding him back aren't holding him back, and now you're you're seeing the you know the, the Jordan two two that I think um, he can be, and, uh, and that's pretty exciting for 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 him and for for everybody involved. Thank you. Thank you.